My connection with the sun is an important part of my life. As a simple-minded child, afraid of the dark, I soon became friends with the sun. My self-facing Long Island bedroom window welcomed the light that chased away lingering night shadows. From my suburban window I watched squirrels dance across the power lines every morning. They would bounce on the limbs of a maple tree and sometimes spiral around a fifty-foot tall pine that leaned against Ned's garage. I was fascinated with the sun and moon and rain and snow and thunderstorms. Garden City was, and still is, a magical place, but it's no longer a frontier for small business opportunities. Alexander Stewart, the founder of Garden City, developed the roads and lined the streets with trees. He wanted Garden City to be a garden spot that would attract settlers. Well, all I wanted to do was climb his planted trees, as well as every other tree of natural origin in the vacant lots. Unfortunately, the vacant lots soon disappeared, along with the climbing trees, and when the vacant lots were gone, new construction opportunities also vanished. So after high school, I decided to pursue an interest in science. Buckminster Fuller discovered how to do more with less. Thomas Edison discovered the light bulb and phonograph and laid the foundation for the electronics industry. Albert Einstein discovered the relationship between energy and matter. I just muddled through college in the 60s and eventually taught high school science. Now, I design and build solar thermal applications such as solar collector kits and differential controllers. I also write and self-publish a number of how-to books, run solar workshops, maintain a website, and moderate an online solar heating group. I like to help people connect with the sun. Not everyone can live in an energy independent house but almost everyone can learn to be less dependent on non-renewable resources. With sufficient effort, you might even construct a solar heated workshop and turn sunlight into sun money. Here are a few solar applications that may help you save money or may even help you make money.
and the waves. You're a difficult act to follow, but thanks to you, we can now all walk on sunshine. Making money with sunlight is no longer a dream reserved for food farmers and photovoltaic distributors. Solar heat energy can be used all year long to save heat, dry fruit, and make valuable products. I use this little experimental sun factory to make the things that I sell. And I'll show you the roof in just a As minute. As I mentioned to you before, the roof of this little MTD sun factory is made with MTD collectors. There's no subroof, there's no framing, there's no plywood, there are no shingles. The collectors are the roof, and I'm going to show you that in just a second. Here we go. Um, this is the inside of the sunshed, crude though it may be. You can see I can use the sunshed to store other things. But anyway, I wanted you to see the, uh, the inside of the shed so I could show you the bottom of the collectors. This is what they look like. Uh, they're framed from steel stud slots. The other thing, I'll just to give you a quick look at, this is the heat storage vault. Uh, I use it for a lot of things. Uh, anyway, the temperature right now in the shed is 128 degrees inside the, uh, the drums. Uh, it's been a cloudy day all day, so we collected, we collected next to no heat today. But still, we have 130 degrees, uh, so it's approximately a 200 gallon system. Not bad for a cute, crude little uh, storage system uh, with drums that uh, were given to me. Anyway, uh, solar energy does not have to be expensive. Uh, that's basically what I wanted to show you. Anyway, uh, I just want to show you this. Like I said, they're 12 feet long, so we're walking down the length of it. They've been here for a while, so they're still fine very functional. They should last forever. Of course, I, I don't know. I've only been doing the experimental work on these MTD collectors for the last three years, so I don't really know how long they'll last, but they seem to be holding up pretty good. Anyway, that's all I wanted to show you. Thank you very much for your time. Good luck, and thank you again to uh, Katrina and the Waves for their beautiful song, Walking on Sunshine.